Praise God. Okay, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Well, welcome. Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you and happy Memorial Day to you. Amen. amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Bienvenidos a todos. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band here in Marfa, Texas. Amen. So praise God. I hope wherever you're celebrating, wherever you're listening, that you have a great Memorial Day. Amen. So praise God. We're going to get into our message here in a few minutes. But I want you to prepare yourselves all the time. You know, hey, we're preparing a, a fellowship. We're preparing for fellowship, but we need to prepare ourselves to receive what we have. Amen. There's some good meals prepared for us. Amen. And uh, we need to prepare for whatever is there for us. Amen. God always has something for you. Don't ever exclude yourself. Include yourself. Yeah. Amen. Bible says, for God so loved the world, he yeah. gave. Amen. So we got to give of ourselves, you know. Don't ever exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking about the greatest soldier. This, of course, this is, uh, hopefully I can complete this with the, uh, the message. <laughs> it's, uh, it's touching. But we're going to talk about the greatest soldier. We never see Jesus as, as our greatest soldier. Amen. We just see him as, as the son of God, you know, and we think, well, he's the son of God. He's got all the powers, you know. But the Bible says he came up to earth as a man. Okay, he stripped himself of all these things and came to earth as a man. So, but we're going to be talking today about, uh, as we celebrate our memorial day, we're going to be talking to him about a, as, as a soldier. Amen. Yeah. So you're going to prepare yourselves to receive, and before you prepare yourself to receive, grab your sword, soldier, yeah. soldier of God, mighty warrior of God. Grab your swords and say it like a man about uh, our church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Say it. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I, says I, have. I, have. I, have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Those of you, we want to welcome those of you that are listening by audio or uh, watching by video. <laughs> if you see me dressed down, it's because we have fellowship today. Amen. And so we just dress down because we want to get down dirty in the goodies that have been prepared for us. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Amen. <laughs> Prepare yourselves to receive. God wants to bless you, bless you, bless you, and bless you some more. Amen. Amen. So seek the blessing, not the blessings. Amen. When you seek the blessing, the blessings come with him, amen? But I want you, church, to be ready to receive what he has for you, amen? Yes. And um, I always enjoy going through this. It's, uh, I guess uh, most of you know I'm retired military, and uh, I spent 20 plus years in the military. I enjoyed my, my life, my time in the military, and I salute all those that have given their lives for our freedom and those that are still serving, amen? So happy Memorial Day to you, a day of celebration, here we go, amen, a day of uh, remembering and honoring all men and women who have fallen and given their lives to preserve amen. the freedom of the USA, amen. Not only that, but God tells us every day, he says, I give you this day, rejoice and be glad in it, amen. Yeah. And I think Pastor Pat mentioned about just rejoicing while you're still here, amen, don't wait till you're gone. Rejoice and be glad in it. You know who's making a choice? You have to make that choice. Mm -hmm. Nobody else can make it for you. So you want to have a sad day? Guess what? You're going to have a sad day. Whatever you say to put in motion, whatever you speak, you shall have. Amen? So I want to have a good day. Rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? So praise God, but the choice is yours. Amen. We have a lot of choices. We just got to make the right choices. You know, we fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. And you know, match to the enemy, a full-time, uh, a part-time Christian is no match for a full-time devil. Amen. And he is ready. Amen. We need to stay ready. You know, that's our motto in the military. Stay ready. Be ready. Amen. All the time. Amen. You can go into war all the time, anytime, at any time. Amen. And guess what? You're in a spiritual battle all the time yeah. a spiritual battle meaning you have to be ready you have to be in the word and you have to get that word in you so you can shoot yeah. at the enemy with the word of god amen but you have to be keep yourself ready praise god amen thank you lord yeah. thank you lord thank you lord praise god happy memorial day and it's tomorrow of course and francis we want to say we're celebrating with you not only on Memorial Day, but also with your birthday. Memorial Day is remembering and honor the military personnel who have paid
paid the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Yeah. Remember and honor all men and women who have given, have fallen and given their lives to preserve the freedom of the USA. Remember and honor those who have died or wounded in battle, returning home, returning home, some of them returning home to start new lives. Mm. Handicapped, mm. disfigured. Jesus came into Jerusalem and they honored him as a king. A week later, they're hating him and they're crucifying him. And this they they beat him, disfigured him, and then they crucified him. So some of these soldiers that were honoring have given their lives and come home to start new lives. Disfigured. Government, people, friends, spouses, reject them. Put them away. Don't want them anymore. They've got to start all over. And guess what? If you don't have Christ in your life, you can't make it. You can't make it. You need Christ in your life. If you don't have Christ, you ain't going anywhere. You're fighting a spiritual battle. And physically, you ain't no match for a spiritual battle. You got to know your Savior. You got to know Christ. If you don't know Christ, you have no hope. There's no hope for you. Amen. I was going to say something, but I'm not going there. But anyway, that's where we come in. We are the children of God. We are the, bringing the good news to a lost world. Amen. And those people that are coming that you see in the streets, homeless, or people, sinners that don't know Christ, there's still hope for them. Jesus never turned anyone away. That's right. Amen. All they need to do is do an about face, turn around, and come back to him. And he'll never put you down. He'll never turn you down. You might have heard somebody say that he's done with you. You're finished. You're no good. He doesn't want you anymore. Well, that's false. That's lies. That's why you got to get in the tr in the word. Know the truth. So you speak the truth. And the truth is going to set him free. Yes. Amen. So praise God. So you're very important to him. Guess what? He's the head and we're, the, we're, we're his body. Yeah. We're the body of Christ, church. Mm -hmm. We're going somewhere to happen yes. to be a blessing to somebody. Yeah. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. You're in God's team. <laughs> I'm way ahead of myself. <laughs> you always think about how you want to say it. <laughs> and when you get up here and the anointing of God starts to flow, in, it just comes out the way he wants it. Yes. So praise yes. God. <laughs> but you know, God's a winning team. You're on God's winning team. Yes, we are. Amen. You're on God's winning team. Team. Together. Everyone accomplishes more. Yeah. Together everyone achieves more. Accomplishes more. Together as the body of Christ united in Him. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. That's what we need to do. Memorial Day is remembering those uh, served. All gave some. Some gave all. Mm. Gone but never, never, never forgotten. And, and uh, well, I'm, way, I'm, I'm already off course here. But You're already on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I've had, I've told people, happy Memorial Day, they told me, well, I ain't had nobody giving their lives, so I had nobody in the military. So, but still, I said, well, you know what? Still, they died for your freedom. Amen. They, they just didn't go up there to die for their family. That's right. They went up there to die for their country. And you live in this country, the best country in the world. Amen. And you have freedom to do whatever you want to do. So it affects everybody. Somebody tells you that, remember, freedom affects all of us. Yeah. And they gave their life for their freedom. For for our freedom. Amen. Woo. Yeah. Hallelujah. If that don't bless you, I don't know what. <clears throat> April 16, uh, 16 uh, April 18, 63 in Columbus, Mississippi. This uh elderly woman, wife and mother, decorating the graves of her two sons. That served in the youth, I mean the uh, Confederate Army, the South. She walked over there and put some uh, memorial flowers on their grave. And then she turned around and she saw two piles of dirt over there. And she walked over there and put some flowers on it. People, family, says, what are you doing? That's the enemy. No, the enemy is Satan. He comes to steal, kill, destroy. 
They fought each other. She went and honored them, put flowers on their graves. People try to stop her, including family. Sometimes family wants to stop you. Sometimes family, you sometimes you might pray for them, and, but, but get away from them. <laughs> and she put, she, put, she, put, she put flowers on them. She put flowers on these graves. And this is what she said. I want to read it to you the way she said. What are you doing? Friends shouted, just like people. <laughs> they told Job, won't you just curse God and, God and die? Well, we're helping you very well. Just <laughs> curse God and die. Uh, he chose to follow what his spirit was leading him to do. Amen. So he honored God and still God honored him and gave him more than what he lost. Amen. Amen. Says those graves are for Union soldiers. They're the enemy. No, Satan is your enemy. Yes. We need to know this, okay? We need to get in the word so we know that we fight a defeated foe. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, our greatest soldier, we're going to talk about, came and defeated the enemy, mm -hmm. Satan. So we are, we are fighting a defeated foe, but as you get in the word, you find out that you have authority over him. Yes. So you don't have to listen to him anymore. All you have to do is say, I resist you, yes. submit yourself to God, and he will yes. flee from you. That's right. Amen. You don't have to put up with him anymore. <laughs> but say if you want him to go somewhere, it says get under my feet. Because yes. that's where you belong. Yes. Under my yes. feet. Amen. 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 We gotta Amen. sing that song, Pastor Pat. <laughs> 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 softly, mm. listen softly. <laughs> Remember <laughs> who you are and who you yes. are in Christ. Softly, the elderly woman says this in a loving, compassionate, this loving, compassionate mother and wife said, she says, I know. But she says, I also know somewhere in the north, she says, a mother, a young wife mourns for them as we do for ours. Yeah. Amen. She says, they, they know, they know. She says, they're not returning. Mm -hmm. They will never see them again and know or they don't know where they've fallen or where uh, they gave their lives. Mm -hmm. When you know your God, he knows where you're at. Amen. Amen. Wherever you happen to be, he knows where you're at. Wherever you fall, he knows where you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so don't feel bad about that. Amen. Yeah. The mother just says, listen, in the north, there's a, a mother, a wife that mourns for them just like we do for ours. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just pray for them. You know, if you tell somebody, if you know of somebody in the past, just say, pray for them. Don't, don't, don't put it off. Just pray for them. Say, Lord, bless them. Mm -hmm. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Touch them. Feel their hurt. Mm -hmm. Comfort them. Amen. Amen. But the Jesus knows where you are all the time. Yes. That love indeed set in motion our celebration, which has become known as Memorial Day. We all know somebody has given their lives a dad, a mom, a brother, a sister. I have five brothers, well, including myself. I had other four brothers that served the military. Mm -hmm. the relatives, aunts, uncles, friends, co-workers. Yeah. Their service time, dedication, courage is appreciated not just once a year on a Memorial Day, but their sacrifice is noticeable every day of the year and never to be forgotten. That's right. It's called freedom. Yeah. Amen. It's mm -hmm. called freedom. You know, I think there's a ministry for some that go up to the grave sites, to the cemetery, and put flags mm -hmm. on all the veterans, all the ones that have given their lives. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. there's somebody in Marfa that does that. Yes. But there's all over the U.S. that yes. go around and put flags on, on all the right. uh, veterans that have served. So today we also want to honor those who have sacrificed their lives mm -hmm. on the altar. It's called the altar of freedom. Oh, yeah. Amen. You know, right. when you send loved ones to go and serve, but never come back. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Sometimes they don't find them. That's right. They're out there in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Just knowing you have peace. God saw them. And you know they called on God. And God never rejected them. You can call on God. He never rejects you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Right. Amen. When you're doing a bound face, you don't know at that dire moment they could have called Jesus. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He... He never forgave him. How many of you remember when Jesus was crucified? Two robbers were 
crucified with him. One of them still mocking him and saying, if you're Jesus, won't you just set, set us free? Mm. The other one says, I recognize you're Jesus, the Son of God. That's Jose. He said, I recognize who you are. He says, remember me. He says, today you'll be with me in paradise. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So guess what? I don't care. Some, 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 some tell you, you got to say this prayer. Some tell you that you got to do this. You got to change that. You got to do this. got to do that. Just ask for him. Just call Jesus. And you can be with him Amen. for eternity. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Woo, hallelujah. <sighs> because of his sacrifice, we are free today. We have the right to assemble ourselves together. And that's what we're doing. And we have the right to... Praise and worship him. Think of the numbers who have died to preserve the freedom we enjoy today. And you know, I think uh, sometime this morning we were talking about in schools today, <clears throat> you can't even sing patriotic songs. You can't even mention the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, they wait till you get to prison and then they give you a Bible so you can study. <laughs> Maybe if they show them to you in grade school or yeah. high school, they oh, wouldn't yeah. end up in prison. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. You got it backwards. Brother to the men and women. He's watching. <clears throat> to the men and women who have served our nation faithfully and courageously, we want to say, we love you. We thank you. We honor you. We salute you. We have not forgotten. And this is what I shared with you a few minutes ago. Freedom involves all of us. It affects all of us. Yes, it does. Don't say it doesn't apply to me. If you don't like the freedom you have, why don't you go to a communist country oh, and try living over there? Oh, Maybe you'll be happy over there. Uh -uh. You know, every time you open your mouth, somebody going to put a gun on your head. Mm. But you have the freedom to speak here. Mm -hmm. And yet, you're not happy. Mm -hmm. You need to know your God. Yeah, you, need to know, you need to know who you yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Receive. Remember to pray for those left behind. Yeah. Thank you, what Lord. can I do, Lord? Maybe you don't have any children. Maybe you don't have no one that serve. But you could be the praying mom. You could be the praying wife for those that go. Yes. You know somebody. Yeah. You know, they come knock on your door and you see these military people coming to your door. Mm. You don't want to see that because you know what they're going to bring you. You know what they're going to tell you. Mm -hmm. We lost them. We lost her. Pray for those people. Pray for those that are left behind. Mothers, fathers, spouses, yeah. children, relatives. I think we have one. Keep going. Just go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I think it's the last one. Right before last. There we go. Back. You'll grow up never not knowing his father. Or his mother. It could be the other way. It could be a mother. <laughs> but still, we pray for them and say thank you. Amen. Praise God. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this than to lay down his life for his friend or a loved one. Somewhere in there is, is one. I didn't, I didn't number them. Oh, Remember what our Heavenly Father did. Our Heavenly Father says, for God so loved the world yeah. that he gave, he sacrificed his yeah. only begotten son, yeah. that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Jesus' the father was mad because he lost his people. So I want my people back, but son, let's, let, me, let me tell you what I want to do. I want to send you and sacrifice you mm. so I can get my people back. And Jesus says, okay. Mm. <laughs> what do you think if Jesus would have said, I don't want to go? <laughs> but he gave himself to yeah. come and live in this sinful world. <laughs> yeah. Amen. To be born of a virgin Mary. To be born of a virgin uh, uh, Mary. Yeah. And and live a life in this world. Yeah. And grow up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just like a one of us. Yes. Freedom is not free. Jesus paid the price yes. for your freedom. Freedom Amen. from sin. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So anyway, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you join the winning team. You yes. join God's team. Yes. Amen. So know Amen. that as a team member, 
You got to do your part. Uh-huh. Okay? You got to do your part. You know what they tell us? I played sports for many years. They tell us, we win as a team, we lose as a team. Uh-huh. Okay? There's no individuals, no eyes in yeah. this. In the word team, there's yeah. no I. It's a T-E-A-L. <laughs> Together, everyone accomplishes more or achieves yeah. more. Amen? Yeah. So, yeah. but I want you to know you're in a winning team. Yes. <laughs> you're on God's yeah. winning team. Jesus yes, won it all. <laughs> also, honor all veterans who have served and are serving today. Yeah. Thank you, and we love you and praying for you. Yeah. Amen? You know when you say go through your little morning prayers? So maybe you don't do this now, but include our military people. Amen. Amen. They're still out there. You know, when the president says go, they have to be ready. Yeah. They're battle ready. They're ready to go. They don't they don't reject, they don't stop, they just go. Yes. Also remember to pray for those who are left behind. Yes. Freedom affects everyone, including our families. Yes, it does. Friends, those serving. Yes. And those that are non-service members, sometimes we choose uh, our favorite holidays. Some people choose Christmas because we get a lot of good things. Some people choose Thanksgiving because it's just the time to have a good meal with friends. <laughs> Some people use uh, choose Easter, but not too many people choose. It's not a very popular holiday. Memorial Day is a holiday. Not too many people choose Memorial Day. Maybe <laughs> it never meant much to you, but we cannot enjoy this freedom and be assembled here together mm. without the sacrifice. Mm. Amen. So we say yeah. we honor you, we thank you, we salute you, and we say we have not forgotten. Amen. Yes, right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just going to read you a little bit here and uh, we'll close. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Talk to you about our greatest soldier. This great soldier is Jesus. He stepped out. Of, he stepped into a battlefield one day. Uh-huh. He entered a fight knowing that it would cost him everything. Mm. Do you know that on a daily basis, Jesus walked the earth? He knew that he was going to die. Mm. He knew that he was going to be sacrificed. Mm. He knew what was awaiting him. And not one time he backed down. Mm-hmm. You know, on a daily basis, he, I'm sure he went to the Father and he says he prayed. Prayer is talking to your Heavenly Father. Yes. And he talked to the Father and says, you know, <laughs> I was thinking about giving up today. Yeah. I need your strength. I can't do this by myself. This is your Heavenly Father you're talking to. Mm. Say, Lord, I need, your, I need your help today. I need your strength today. I cannot go without you. Mm. Amen. Hell. <laughs> It's hell without Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. be ready to spend time with him. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, 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 when you go on a trip, you have faith and believe your car's going to be fine. <laughs> and you yeah. have faith yeah. and believe that your spare tire is ready. Mm-hmm. And you have a blowout. And you go, you're in between cities. And you have a blowout. And you go grab your tire and you change it. And he completes your destiny. So sometimes we treat Jesus that way. You know, when things are going smooth, mm. I don't need you, Jesus. Mm. I don't need your spare tire. And when you have storms of life or you have a blowout in your life, all of a sudden we remember, that, hey, things are going smooth. I forgot about Jesus. I just put him aside. Don't think about him anymore. Mm. But now I need him. Mm. So you call him every time you have an up and down. When it's time we be consistent, have a relationship, yes. and use him all the time. Yes. And spend time with him on a daily basis. Remember, we said a part-time Christian is not, there's no match to a full-time devil. That's right. He takes no breaks. We do. Mm-hmm. So we got to push ourselves when we don't want to. Yes. And believe me, military will push you when you don't want to push. <laughs> when you want to stop, you got to go. <laughs> they make you do things you don't want to do, like waking up early in the morning <laughs> or going to bed late or just doing things out of the ordinary. Yes. And you got to be ready because the enemy is going to come and you're going to be ready no matter what comes, you know. Mm-hmm. Surprise. Guess what? You got to be ready. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes.
He stepped into it. He entered the fight knowing that it would cost him everything. He bravely won a, a great victory over, over a terrible huh? price. He gave his life not for a nation, but for all humanity. Soldiers nowadays, they give their lives for their country so we can have the freedom that we have. His sacrifice served to set free those that are captive in sin. Mm -hmm. To know Jesus is to honor him. Mm -hmm. We must honor the Son of Man daily, every day, yeah. to be a memorial day for all believers. Mm. You know? We just don't honor him, you know, says, well, when I think of it, mm -hmm. we should honor him on a daily basis. Yeah. Not yeah. forgetting who your source is, not yes. forgetting who your fuel is, yes. not forgetting who your strength is. All right. He is your strength. Yeah. He is your source. <laughs> you know, be strong, be be brave as David when he saw the giant. When yeah. you see these storms of life coming at you, you see these giant storms coming at uh -huh. you, know who's backing you. Yeah. I know my God, guess what, we're cool, we have a relationship. <laughs> you wanna mess with me? Mm -hmm. You don't know, God is backing you. Amen. Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. No matter what comes, no matter what's coming. You right. know what? Whatever's coming tomorrow, whatever's coming in the future, he's already been there. Amen. And when he when you know he's been there, I have faith and believe he's gonna be there for me. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. Woo! Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Today, let us remember this man named Jesus and the sacrifice that he made for all of us. Yes. Amen. Uh, open your Bibles to 1 Timothy 3.16. Of course, you can read it out of your Bibles. I'm going to read it. I already got it wrote down here for me. 1 Timothy 3.16. It says, It is important to know the secret of God like living, which is Christ. came to earth as a man. He was pure in his spirit. He was seen by angels. The nations heard about him. Mm. Men everywhere put their trust in him. Mm -hmm. He was taken up into heaven. Amen. We can put our trust in him. I know. You know what he's done? He's won the battle. Amen. He, be, he defeated Satan. Yes. Amen. And now he's gone to heaven. The father says when he ascended, he met with his disciples for a period of time. And then he says, you know, before I go, I'm going to give you the Holy Ghost. I'm gonna, you're going to have the Holy Ghost. He says, but I'm going to go. And he, the Father took him. He ascended into heaven. And the Bible says he ascended at the right hand of God mm -hmm. in a place of honor, mm -hmm. praying for us, interceding Amen. for us. Amen. Amen. So praise God. May we always remember his appearing. God was manifested in the flesh. And we talked about this. The greatest event in human history. God himself stepped out of eternity into time. He came into this world as a human baby. And raised. He only lived, about according to the Bible, he only lived 33 years. Mm -hmm. And he started his ministry at 30. So he was preparing mm -hmm. all this time. But he knew that he, it would cost him. Yes. But he never stepped down. Church, we know whose we are, and we know whatever it costs, he's already paid, and all we need to do is just hook up with him and know that we can do all things through him. Amen. Amen. And don't be shy. <laughs> know that he is with you. He says in Hebrews uh, 13, 5, that he never leaves you nor forsakes yes, you. That's right. He is always with you. If you feel lonely, maybe it's time you charge your spiritual batteries. Uh -huh. Because he's there and he's knocking, but we're not answering. That's right. He wants to fellowship all the time, but uh -huh. we're not fellowshipping. You know, when the phone is ringing, <laughs> we need to answer it. Mm -hmm. That heavenly phone is ringing and, and nobody wants to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> Let yeah. me see what else you got there. Oh, praise God. So, let us prepare ourselves. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In closing, <laughs> yeah. President Kennedy spoke this. You see the legs of the soldier. He's lost his legs in battle. But President Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you. 
That's what you can do for your country. Yeah. We got to do our part. Amen. Amen. Just like the body of Christ, you have a part. Mm -hmm. Amen. He talks about the human body. And every human body has all kinds of parts, but yeah. one body. We are the body of Christ. And you have a part in this body. Mm -hmm. And we just want to do our part. And it says, that's not what your country can do for you. That's what you can do for your country. Mm -hmm. So I want to be in, involved and do what God has called me to do. Amen. He's called you. He's qualified you. And he's gifted you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you can do all thanks to him. We just yes. got to remember to do our part. Amen. Amen. And your Amen. part is important. Whether it's big or small, people come around and say, well, you know, you're only doing a little thing. If I'm doing it under God, He's pleased, and so am I. I'm not here to please people. I'm here to please God. Amen. Amen. Just remember that because when you start, once you start out of focus and start pleasing people, they'll never be pleased. Mm. You can never please them. Mm. Church, millions of men and women have given their lives to mm -hmm. guarantee our freedom as Americans. Amen. They gave their all so that we might enjoy all the blessings of this great land. Yeah. You know, the Bible says that we are to, he listens as we pray. Yeah. So we have problems in this country, who, who doesn't? But if we have problems, guess what? Pray yes. and ask the Lord. When we pray, prayer changes things. Yes, it does. Prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. And as you pray, ask the Lord to touch his country. Yes. Amen. Pray for other countries. Pray for other people, not just yes. yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. And God will reach them. And I've said this many times, and you know this, we just remind ourselves, and we encourage one another, and we sharpen one another, as the Bible says, mm -hmm. iron sharpens iron. Yes. There's no distance in prayer. That's right. Well, yeah. you know, just because somebody is all on the other side of the world doesn't mean that you can't pray for them. Mm -hmm. You know, God is waiting to see if somebody prays. <laughs> Isn't it a shame that if nobody prays, mm -hmm. somebody has to pray. Mm -hmm. So be, be, let it be you. And he hears it, and he'll bless somebody way on the other side of the world. He says, if you don't worship me, he says, I'll make the rocks worship me. So I don't want the rocks to worship him for me. Amen? So praise Amen. God. Reminder, every day is a memorial day. Why? One day, greatest, uh, heaven's greatest soldier, our Lord Jesus, came to this earth. And he died and gave us eternal freedom yes. from the penalty, the power, and the presence of sin. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. you, Lord. May we never forget who Jesus is, what he has done for us, right. where he has taken us Amen. someday. Yes. Amen. You know, Praise God. I'm thinking about this all the time, Lord. You know, I, I think it was Paul that said, you know, hey, I lived a good life. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, if, if God takes me now, I'll be happy. He says, but if I get to stay longer, mm -hmm. I'll still be happy because yeah. God is with me. Yeah. If God is with you, you know, you need to be the joyful people that we need to be. Yes. Not sad. That's right. Amen. Well, knowing, knowing that he is with us. Yes. I am going to be glad and rejoice in this beautiful day God has given Amen. me. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Not be sad about it. Your That's choice. Right. And don't let the weather and don't let people dictate. That's right. What kind of day you're gonna have? Amen. I already spent time with him, and I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And when you leave your prayer prayer closet, <laughs> stay happy. Yes. Amen. You see yourself, you see your happiness going uh -huh. down. Remind yourself, hey, greater see is in me, and he's in the world. And get yourself happy again. Happiness is contagious. People yes. see you and want to know why you're smiling. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Don't you know this happened, that happened? Uh -huh. No. Oh God. Jesus. I love Jesus. Amen. Share with them. You know, they need they need Jesus. Yes, they do. And the only way they're going to hear of Jesus is through you, yeah. his body. The Bible says we are ministers of reconciliation. Yes. And we're also ambassadors of God, of Jesus, of Christ. Mm -hmm. We're his mouthpiece on earth. Yeah. How's he going to get his word here? How's he going to get his word to him? To us. Because as I said many times, you're the closest thing to a Bible people will ever see, hear, or listen to. Mm -hmm. and, but they'll, they'll see you, and they'll see the Christ in you. They'll see the difference in you. Used to be this way, now I see the Christ in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's the closest thing to a Bible. 
They may never step into this church, mm -hmm. but they'll see you yeah. and they'll listen to you. I want the peace you got. I've got this, you, you know, you got this peace about you and you never riled up, you, you never you never in trouble or anything about these things. What is it that you do that's different about you? What is it? What is it? And you say, Jesus, I spent time with the master. I spent time with my heavenly father and they see it in you. That is the closest Amen. thing to a Bible people see. Yes. And they want what they want. They want it. Yeah, they want and it. And all you have to do is say, Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. you I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And he'll receive you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he'll be the Lord of your life and start a new life with him. Start reading the word. Start uh, uh, going to church. And start doing this work and fulfill the mission he's called you That's to be. Right. The only reason you're here is because he put you on this mission. That's right. And you're going to find about this mission as you grow with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. I hope that bless you. Bless me. Amen. So praise, praise God. Amen. 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 Oh, praise God. Thank <laughs> you.